This is community development work. That's what schools are or should be. At the lab school, we really focus on like the whole child approach. We focus on culture and community. We focus on physical and mental health first, which actually ends up benefiting their academic growth. way that they really like drive their own learning and they're excited about it because of that and the way that they interact with each other they truly represent like a really healthy community. I founded the lab school of Memphis as a learner-centered micro school. We are intentionally small and take a highly customized approach cultivating academic skills in addition to life skills through a project-based and experience-based model. Once a week for an entire day, our learners have an immersive nature-based learning experience on a local farm. As learners grow older into middle school, internships become a part of their experience where they are able to explore a career path. When I see learners excited about whatever passion project or quest that they're working on, when they're learning how to celebrate themselves or like work through conflict, it feels like we're not wasting time. Like we are actually doing things that impact kids in a really beneficial way. Most of what we do here can be done in some way, shape, or form in the public school setting. I don't want to see public schools go away. I don't want to see private schools go away, home schools go away. The more options available, the better job we do of equipping every type of child and every type of learner with what they need. As with any school, as with any learning environment, we have our limitations. Up until recently, uh, schools like ours have not been eligible for public funding. That presents a challenge in terms of accessibility and diversity if public funds don't become available to models like this, they will be extremely difficult if not impossible to sustain. Every young person deserves the best possible start to their post-secondary life and career possible.